my name is Candy Running Bear, and I am I'm Navajo from St. Michael's, Arizona, which is on the Navajo Nation. So I'll also I'll introduce myself in Navajo right now, sharing my four clans. So those are my four clans, and um, I am a single parent of an 11-year-old daughter, and I've been an early childhood special education teacher for about 12 years now. I got my undergrad degree from Brigham Young University, and then I went on to get my master's from the University of Arizona. And so my bachelor's was in psychology, my master's was in um, special education. And after I received my master's, um, I worked as an early childhood special education teacher um, for about 12 years. So currently I'm a doctoral candidate at Northern Arizona University in the curriculum and instruction program with a focus on culturally and linguistically diverse exceptional children. So I plan to graduate spring 2023. And after I graduate, I plan to continue building research about evidence-based practices for indigenous children with disabilities. Um, it was a really, um, challenging decision that I, I made at the beginning um, because I knew when, my, when I entered the program, my daughter was, um, she was still my little girl, you know, um, wanting to, to play, you know, with dolls. And, and I knew by the time I graduated, she would be um, a, a preteen or becoming a teenager. And so um, I, I really had to um, talk to her about it, talk to my family. And if it wasn't for my family, there is no way I could be where I am in my program right now. They have been such a huge um, support to me emotionally. And it, they have um, helped me with raising my daughter. So it, it, I, it hasn't just been me. Um, and she has had to kind of grow up a little bit quicker than she would have um, if I wasn't in the program. So I'm incredibly grateful for, for my daughter and my, my family for, for helping me to, um, to be able to do this and um, just being a support to each other to, to be able to, to do this. Because I know um, once I do graduate, they, they're probably, I'm thinking they're going to feel like they're graduating too because they've really um, been there through, through all of this. I've been a member for about three years now, and I learned about the scholarship through an email that I received um, from AZAYC. Um, this organization is awesome, and I really love that they promote, um, you know, high professional standards and um, advocate for the early childhood profession and for children receiving um, high quality education. Last year, about this time is when I was um, really thinking about what I needed to do for the next school year. Um, I, I was working as a full-time um, special education preschool teacher for the first um, half of my program. Um, and I knew that um, in that coming fall, I would be taking my comprehensive exams. And, um, and with being a, a single parent 
and you know already when I was working full time and a um, a full time student, it was really difficult. But I thought that the exams might just be the breaking point if I didn't um, change something in my schedule. So it was um, last year that I decided I wouldn't um, re um, I wouldn't sign my contract for the upcoming school year. So, um, so I, I was looking around for scholarships to help me so that I would be able to pay my rent and be able to um, have, be able to purchase the food that we would need um, while not working full time. So that's what this scholarship has helped me with is to help my daughter and I um, with our, our daily needs um, so that I can continue to focus on my, my um, doctoral program. I'm drawn to, to young children, um, and part of it could be because I'm, I'm the oldest of five in my family, so I was always the caretaker, and I'm just drawn to children and their imagination, their honesty, their love of learning. So, um, so that got me into um, to, to this age group. Um, working with this age group. And then when I got my master's and um, as I've uh, being in my doctoral program, I noticed that there, there wasn't very much information or um, about um, services for young children um, in indigenous communities. And um, so, um, so I wanted to be able to, to, to do this, um, to do research to benefit the young children in um, indigenous communities. It might be that this um, evidence-based practice is good for the majority, but I wanna be able to share that it, maybe it's also good um, with indigenous communities um, and, that um, sometimes it, it might need to be modified to be more um, culturally relevant to them, to be um, uh, evidence-based practice that, that is, matches the needs of um, indigenous populations too. So that's um, what I'm hoping to continue to do after I graduate. a lot of um, the knowledge about early childhood development will come from professionals and um, in the field. So um, I, I, it, it's really important. It, it's the children are the future. And so um, whatever they can, whether it's funding or um, to assist early childhood education, it's going to benefit the future. I am most proud of my daughter, Aubrey. Um, it is within the six months that um, she had a coming of age ceremony at Kinalta, and um, which is really, um, it's challenging. And um, I was just so proud of her that she, she made it through. And um, since then, she's really, um, taken on that role of, of being a young woman and um, being helpful and trying her best in school. So um, I would say that's what I've been most proud of. Working in early childhood education is very rewarding. Um, I remember my first day of being a preschool teacher um, a student of mine threw up in my hands. And um, I would say some, some days it may feel like this, but all the other days outweigh the difficult ones in terms of seeing your students' eyes light up when they learn something new or 
um, hearing them laugh um, throughout the day, and especially when you see them graduate high school and they have um, plans maybe to attend college or continue their education. So I would say just stick with it because you're making a difference. Thank you so much uh, from the bottom of my heart for providing the scholarship. It's um, really helped me and my daughter out. So um, thank you to, to all of you.